Hello everybody, thanks for uh, stopping by my channel. Room's a little messy, I'm in an upstairs room that's being transformed into a... Uh, it's going to be my daughter's bedroom, but right now it's kind of like my my indoor garden area. Um, I haven't done much this year with gardening, didn't have a lot of time, but uh, if you've watched my previous videos, the backyard garden was pretty much uh, about four pumpkin plants. I had... Uh, Ah, oh, they were giant white pumpkins. They came out pretty nice. I think I had three or four nice pumpkins, but uh, that was about it. I had a couple tomato plants, but I planted them late in the season and um, really didn't even get to harvest many. If I had six, I'd be surprised, but that was it for this year. And I wanted to show everybody what's going on here, uh, the start of 2013. And um, kind of getting into something new. I'm starting to get into a little hydroponic, uh, deep water culture. And uh, I got a little arrow garden going on, so just kind of want to do my own little video record of what I'm doing and uh, something I can look back on. Thanks for stopping by. Uh, subscribe, rate, comment, and I'll uh, go from there. Anyway, stopping with the blabbing. All right, so first thing I got on into was an arrow garden, and I've got it downstairs, but I want to show everybody what I have for it. Uh, it was just a a used arrow guard didn't have anything so I went out to eBay and bought uh, it was a pack of sponges you know these standard sponges and they had the uh, the little tops and it came with uh, seven of the net pots for it and I think I spent eight bucks it was like eight dollars plus a couple dollars shipping so that was that and uh, as you can tell, I haven't even used these things. I came up with a better solution, and I kind of want to go over what I did with that. So, we could do that, uh, which is what this is actually. I'm going to kind of jump around, so hopefully, I can keep everybody on track. Uh, this is actually for hydroponics. Um, these are rock wool cubes, and as you can see, they're just little cubes that come apart. Feels like um, insulation. It's kind of what it feels like. But what I found out was this whole cube, I think there's 72 of them. Uh, there's, I don't know how many there are. 98. So there's 98 of these things on here. And if you split them in fourths, they fit perfectly in the arrow, in the arrow garden um, mini pot. So if you take one out, this is what I did. I took one and split it into four. And this little thing fits perfectly inside the arrow garden. So I just pop a hole in the top with a pen, drop my seedling in there, and we're good to go. So you can get, uh, I think it calculated out over 300 of these with this 98 pack, or 98 cubes. And that, like I said, I think this was 8 bucks for the 98. Good deal there. I bought that locally. <coughs> Sorry, fighting the cold. Anyway. So that was that. Uh, this is my seed pile here. I'm getting all kinds of seeds. These are all my super hots. I've got tomatoes that we're going to get going on. Um, these are some spare net pots that I'm going to start in this little contraption here, this bucket. I'm actually going to do some lettuce in here because uh, we just go through lettuce crazy here. So I'm going to start growing some fresh lettuce. And these are just some dried hot peppers. I pulled the seeds out. I'm going to use those for chilies. And uh, if I pan over here, this is where my uh, tomatoes are presently. I just set that up today. My wife got me this, um, this metal rack for this. So got me that for Christmas. So I just got that set up. Got the light on. Let me go over and take a look at this real quick. So this is what they call deep water culture. It took me a lot of research to figure out how to do this, but see these were started through seeds, and these are tomatoes. They're those black cream tomatoes, which look pretty good. I've never grown them, but as you can see, it's just full of water. You can see all the roots and stuff hanging down in there you can see the water so if you have questions on that this is just a it's called deep water culture I think this is a three gallon tub it uses a 
fish tank to supply uh, oxygen to the water, oxygenates the water, bubbles it up. And these are called hydrotin cubes. All they are is clay pellets. Kind of strange thing. Oh, don't don't fall over, dude. That was weird. I've got it by this window. This is a south-facing window. But as you can see, we've got about a foot of snow out there. I live in northeastern Ohio. And we haven't gotten a lot of sun today. But it does provide some some sun over here. And let's pan back over here. And I'll show you what else I did today. I planted all my super hot peppers. I got those all going in my heated seed tray. I just put this up today. So you can see. Pop this off. You can see all of my my various hot pepper seeds ghost peppers and uh, other various peppers so I just got these going today and we'll see how how they do some of these can take 60 days to germinate this one I'm getting them started now um, I just know that from experience I've tested a couple of these I know they take a while so we'll get those going now Anyway, let's go down and I'll, uh, downstairs I have my, oops, my arrow garden. And I'll give you a status update on that. Okay, so here's my little arrow garden. Show you what I have here. So this is a little seven pot uh, arrow garden. Right now I've got some hot peppers in there. These are called um, ghost scorpions. So they're going pretty good. They've been in here probably almost two months, maybe six weeks. And just this last week they started really taking off. Uh, these two here, I've got some reds in the back and I've got what they call peach in the front. And uh, they're taking off pretty nice. These two over here are going to town. I've got a little runt in the back here. And uh, this guy here, it's like these three are runts and I've got those two over there taking off. But I think once they get about another three inches, I'm going to trim them off the tops so they get bushy. And I'm going to transplant the tops into some pots with soil. And I should have another, it looks like uh, another five plants. We'll see how that goes. But I want to keep them low bush. I don't want them to grow too tall. See what happens. And over here, I just had some, uh, these are the rock roll cubes. I had seeds in here that never took off, so I pulled them out. I just did that today. Got some spare hydrotin cube or hydrotin pellets. And these were two extra um, uh, the Air Garden pots that I bought off eBay. I was going to put this in this hole, but because of the curve, <laughs> these pots are way too long, and I didn't want to cut them off. To make them shorter so I just covered them up with aluminum foil but that's why that was covered at the top I was planning on using it to to go in that hole but that didn't work out too well so I've got two spares here I got two holes on on the sides not in use way too many pepper plants for that so but that's what they look like this was part of that eight dollar buy off eBay be nice, it'd be nice if I could find something to make these out of. I almost thought about trying to use, um, um, people are trying to make them out of like aluminum foil and some other things, but I just haven't found a good way to make them. But I don't think I'm going to eat them. I'm not buying any more Arrow Gardens, I don't think, unless I find another good deal. But I think I bought this guy for, he was used, I think I bought it for 40 bucks off eBay. It didn't come with anything, it was just the, the actual... Arrow garden itself, and then I bought the kit. But uh, this is my little TDS meter, measures parts per million. So, still trying to figure out how to use all that. I've got some water here dechlorinating because we have city water here, so I just let it sit out a couple days, gets rid of the chlorine, and uh, then I pour it in here, or it goes into my fish tank, one or the other. But, um, 
I think that's about it for this uh, this update. I'm gonna try to do updates probably every week, and uh, see how it goes. Thanks for stopping by.